Okay, so hey guys. Um, so in this video of the tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you how to create the main frame and also how you would switch um, between frames. So I'm going to diverge a bit to show you that um, because this project doesn't really um, require you to switch frames because it's only on one page. Um, so let's get started. This method was created by a guy called um, Brian Oakley on Stack Overflow. And you can... Um, you know, you can check out his reputation on Stack Overflow and the questions he's asked um, because he's very knowledgeable on Tekinta. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that method on switching frames that he put. Um, but first we need to create the frame itself. So we're gonna create a class called main page. It's gonna inherit from um, tk.frame. That means this main page class is actually a frame, also it's Tekinta frame. So now we're going to initialize it and um, create the constructor. So parent, it's going to take in parent because as you know, all um, tickets widgets, they require the parent um, or master. So as you see, tk.frame here requires self. This is going to require the parent. So the superclass tk.frame in this case, the um, constructor for that. That's going to take in parent as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a label just so we know that we've switched to the other to a different page. So label header equals tk dot label, and it's going to be tied to the parent. Text is going to be equal to uh, Smith, and the font is going to be equal to. Uh, And the size of the font is going to be 25. Okay. And apologies, this font, um, this part needs to be in brackets. This is actually a tuple. So we're going to add another bracket there and a bracket here, or parentheses. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place it. So label underscore header or place. And I'm going to explain what place is and what relative y is and relative x in another video. Rel x 0.02. Okay, so this is our main page created. Okay, so now what we need to do is tie this main page to our application. Okay, so our main page is created, and then we go to wordsmith.py, and then we import it. So from views import the views and the main page. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here, I'm just gonna put a comment and we're gonna say frames application. Okay, so now the general idea of this is we're going to put the frames in the tuple or word to a dictionary and then we're going to call a method called tk.raise and that will bring the frame, the, um, frame to the forefront so that the user can see it. And effectively, they've switched between frames. But what's really happening is the frames are just stacked on top of one of another. Okay. So to do that, we're going to create a dictionary, self.frames equals empty dictionary. And we're going to create pages. So pages is equal to tuple of main page and then any other pages you want to add they'll go inside here and then we're going to do create a for loop or for each loop so for page in pages the frame is going to be equal to page so remember we're iterating so the page in this instance is main page so main page and the parent of main page we're going to set that equal to main underscore frame so that means that the parent of this mainframe, like this label as well, is going to be this mainframe of our application itself. Okay. And then self.frames, we're going to make the key of self.frames the page. So in this instance, it's going to be main page. And then 
and we're going to make that equal to the frame that we've created. So the instance of frame. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to place that frame. So frame dot place rel y equals zero, rel x equals zero. So basically what I'm saying is this, uh, okay, I'll explain this in another video. That's just where we're going to place it. And self dot show underscore frame. And what we're going to show is the main page. Okay, so now we need to create the show frame method here. So how we do that is we create the function or a method, sorry, because it's in the class. So show underscore frame self and the frame itself. So let's call this frame underscore main. Okay, so the frame is going to be equal to self dot frames and then frame underscore name. And then that frame that we've created or we've got the value of that frame is we're then going to run the method of it called TK rings, which will bring it to the front. Okay, so now effectively what's happened here, we've got our frames, we've got empty dictionary, we've got our pages. So like main page and the other pages you decide to add. We're going to then do a for loop before each loop to iterate over it. Now the frame, but to create the frame, what we're going to do is the page and we're going to initialize. So we're going to create an object of that page. And then the page is going to be the key and the value of it is going to be the frame itself. And then what we do is we run the show frame method. So we're doing it here inside the constructor, the constructor of our application, because we want it to be the home page for our users. This is the first thing the user is going to see when they run the um, application or execute the program. And effectively what that's doing is, it's looking into self.frames, the dictionary, and it's pulling up the key. And that's going to be the frame that's going to bring. So we give it a page, and then it's going to get the value of that page that we've assigned here. And then it's going to bring that to the forefront through tk.race. Okay, so if I run this and everything's fine, then we should see this label show. Let's hope so. So it's going to run. And there we go. So there we see Wordsmith. So that means it's worked. Okay, so exit that. And just to show something else, I'm not actually going to implement this, but just to show you, now, if you wanted to create a, um, like, if you wanted to invoke um, show frames elsewhere, like in the menu, for example, you would do something like um, the command. So you do command is equal to parent, because remember, we have an instance of this application in parent, because we pass it through. So that means we can access the methods. So parent dot show underscore frame. And then you'd pass in the view. So then the view would be main page. So then when the user clicks on that, it will bring the page to the forefront because it will run the show frame. Um, it will run the show frame uh, method. So that's how you'd switch between frames and that's it explained. Um, but as I said, it's a method from a guy called Brian Oakley on Stack Overflow. And he also explains it in one of his um, um, answers. So you can check that out. Um, but that's how you'll do it for this project, but we don't necessarily need it, um, but that's how it would be implemented if we were going to use it. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to build out the rest of our main page view. And then after that, the actions and so forth, but it's just gonna be the view. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thank you, bye.